Hey everybody, how's it going? In today's video, I wanted to show you how to easily drill a hole in a wine bottle. So first, I like to make a jig. A jig is essentially something that you use to help guide your drill bit into the precise location. I use a product called Instamorph. It is a multiple plastic and you can make all sorts of things with it. But essentially you will heat it up and once it turns translucent, you can take it out of the water and then mold it to the shape you want. And in this case, we are going to mold it onto a wine bottle. And then we're gonna drill a hole into that so that we can easily guide our drill bit to drill into the wine bottle. Now you may be asking, why would I want to drill a hole in a wine bottle? Well, it comes in handy when you are crafting with wine bottles. You can easily put Christmas lights in the wine bottle this way. You can make an incense burner out of a wine bottle this way. Or like I recently made a tabletop water fountain out of a wine bottle. There's so many applications that you can use and I will be showing you some more examples of what you can make at the end. So anyway, once the water is heated, you will turn your burner off and I put about a fourth cup of the plastic into the hot water and you wait until it turns translucent. And the cool thing about this plastic is that you can reuse it. So you can reheat it and reshape it into something else. So I will use tongs to push all the pieces together and make a ball out of it. And then once it's completely translucent or uh, see-through clear, I will take it out of the hot water, make sure it's uh, cool enough to touch, and then I will mold it onto the wine bottle. So the goal here is to mold it onto the wine bottle so you have something to hold onto. So you don't want to make just a tiny little spot. You kind of want to make almost like a bracelet around the wine bottle or like a cuff around the wine bottle so that you can use your hand to hold the jig as you're drilling through it. So once you have the shape that you want on the wine bottle, you will just let it cool down and harden and you'll know that it's ready to go when it turns opaque white again. And so I will speed that up here so you can see what that process looks like. So after about 20 minutes, it should be ready to go and you can pop that right off the wine bottle. I personally like to use diamond tip drill bits. I will leave a link to this set down in the description. It comes with multiple different sizes depending on what project you're working on. So choose the size that you want and you will attach that to your drill. You will go ahead and drill that size hole into the plastic mold or the plastic jig. So this uh, may heat up the plastic a little bit. You can clean that excess off pretty easily. Uh, but now it's ready to put on the wine bottle and you can decide where you wanna put your hole depending on what your project is. And I highly recommend drilling in a tub of water. You don't wanna make it too deep, but you do wanna be able to cover the wine bottle with water. This will help keep the wine bottle cool. As you know, if you've crafted with uh, glass before, if it heats or cools too fast, it can crack. Um, and also, it keeps any glass dust particles in the water so you're not breathing that in, which is something you don't want to do.
So now we're ready to drill the hole. And like I mentioned before, you want to kind of grip on to both the bottle and the mold or the jig at the same time so that you can easily guide the drill bit in the precise location where you're gonna want it. If you don't have this guide, guiding your drill bit, it's kind of hard to get it started because glass is so smooth. It kind of likes to jump around and scratch the wine bottle. Uh, with this method, you get a nice clean hole. And depending on how thick or thin your wine bottle is, it may take a little bit longer um, if you have a thicker wine bottle, such as this one, um, but it just depends on what you're using. And you will be left with a nice cutout of the wine bottle. So this is what it turned out like. And I'm going to show you an example of a larger hole as well. So I just used that same uh, jig that I used previously and I put a larger hole just right next to it. And then same as last time, I put it in a tub of water and I used the jig to drill a hole. So here's how that one turned out. Here's an example of a project I've made previously. It is a tabletop fountain. And here is another one where I drilled a bunch of different holes in wine bottles to make succulent planters. So overall, I think this is a nice trick to have up your sleeve if you like crafting with wine bottles and upcycling. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.